Hello people, in this video we want to look at this topic Wolfian remnant abnormalities. So in a woman, the Wolfian remnants will be there. So this is something that is normal, right? Because Wolfian uh, duct etc. gives rise to the male reproductive parts, right? So in a woman, this Wolfian remnants will be there, correct? Now they are asking you in the exam the abnormalities of this remnants, okay? So basically let us understand here. So in uh, pink whatever is there that you see here, that is the Mullerian duct. So Mullerian duct or the paramesonephric duct is what is developing into your uterus and your fallopian tubes, okay? So people just understand some basics here. So um, in women, if you want to become multi paris okay? If women want to become multi paris what should develop for them? The Mullerian duct or the paramesonephric duct. These these two are same, okay? Other names. The Mullerian duct or the paramesonephric duct has to give rise to what? To the uterus and the fallopian tubes. Who gives rise to the uterus and the fallopian tubes? Come on, say it. Mullerian duct or paramesonephric duct. In men, the duct that gives rise to their reproductive parts is the Wolfian. Wolf in men, okay? Wolfian system or what is it also called as mesonephric duct, okay? So, in this Wolfian duct will be a remnant in this female, okay? In female, you will have Wolfian duct remnant, okay? So, in females, you will see the abnormalities of this Wolfian remnant, okay? So, you have understood this diagram, right? What is the pink here? They are showing you the mal, that is the Mullerian, sorry, mul, mul par is our uh, mnemonic for this to remember. In uh, if a woman wants to become multi paris, what should develop? Mullerian duct or paramesonephric duct has to develop. Okay, so now let's move on. <coughs> so in female, what remnants will be there? Okay, what are the remnants that you will find? So you will find remnants like epoophoron. Epo ufferon, paro ufferon, Gartner's duct. See here, they have marked here. Epo ufferon, paro ufferon, Gartner duct. Okay, so these are the things you find. Did you understand, people? Now the same thing. They'll ask you the abnormalities of the Wolfian remnant. Cyst of epo ufferon, Cyst of para ufferon, cyst Gartner duct cyst. Okay, so let's write the let's write the names of this. I mean, let's show them again. Ipo ufferon, para para ufferon, Gartner duct cyst. Okay, and two extras they have shown here. Look at those also. There are uh, two other terminologies terminologies here. Hydatid cyst of Morgagni. And cobalt cyst. Okay. So, what is this? Hydatid cyst of Morgagni. This is pedunculated. Okay. And then you have the cobalt cyst. This cobalt cyst they are saying is the Gartner duct may be cystic. The outer ones are cobalt tubules. So, the outer ones they are calling as cobalt. The middle set, epophoron, and the Proximal, they are calling as parufuron. Okay. So, why is this topic important? That is what you should understand. Why are they asking about all these cysts? Because this Gardner's duct cyst is there. No. If it is, you know, appearing in the anterior vaginal wall, you may think that it is a cystocele. That is the bladder, urinary bladder prolapse. So, if it, there is uterine prolapse, you know, in that you will read cystocele, etc. So, it might not be a cystocele, it may be a Gartner duct cyst. That's why you should know this, okay. There is also one more thing here. Parovarian cyst. This is also from Wolfian's tissue only, they are saying, okay. That's it for now, guys. Bye-bye.